Yeah, so my name is, uh, it, I'm Bard, I live in Colorado, and I am 54, right? So I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot over, uh, over my, uh, you know, five plus decades. The original George Bush, George H.W. Bush, is maybe my favorite president, right? Head of the CIA, senator, you know, in the Navy, um, you know, I mean, everything, right? Such a, you know, experienced guy, and he had such a great team around him. I, I would traditionally vote Republican, but I am not only going to vote for Biden, I will actively support Biden, and I, I hope that he wins in a landslide, both because I think he'd be a better president than Trump, and I also think in terms of sending a message to the Republican Party that Trump is not the the way to go. So I'm going to be a huge Biden supporter, though I probably traditionally wouldn't line up with Biden. I, I, I do not believe that Donald Trump is a Republican. I don't believe the ideals that he's espousing are Republican. And I think he's completely 100% unqualified for the job. I don't think the media is the enemy. I don't think the Democrats are our enemy. I don't think the Canadians and the Mexicans and the EU are our enemies. I also don't think Putin and North Korea are our friends. And oh, by the way, Mexico is not going to pay for the border wall. True leadership is not via tweets and, and standing up and being bombastic. It's not about belittling people and tearing people down. You know, being adults, set, set an example. At the end of the day, we're not going to get everything that we want. I'm not going to get everything that I want. And the Democrats hopefully aren't going to get everything that they want. You know, in my mind, compromise is how things get done and is actually a good word. And I think particularly the Republicans now see any kind of compromise as a bad word, like you're giving in. But that's the reality. That's how we actually move forward and get things done is compromise. And one of the ways that I'm hoping to be able to help accomplish that is to vote in, you know, vote for Biden and, and campaign for Biden, Biden to send a message. And that's how I hope to influence the Republican Party back to the traditional values.